Hi guys and welcome to another Automation Anywhere technical tutorial. Sometimes as I'm learning new technologies and new puzzles and new products, I like to set myself little challenges to see how I would go about achieving them. And in this challenge, I had the notion, and again, it doesn't mean matter whether this is a real world applicable story or not. In my puzzle here, I had a database. And in my database, which happens to be a DB2 database, I have a table. And the table is called products. And in the products table, there's a column called name, weight, and inventory. The name of the product, its weight, and how many we have in stock. And I'm imagining a worker, a staff member, an employee of some company who has been challenged with go look at our inventory and then take it to the warehouse and make sure we get all of these things in stock. So what they might do is they might uh, go to their table and here's the table. Great. And then they might open themselves up an Excel spreadsheet. Great. And here's an Excel spreadsheet. And they might copy this data from the table into the Excel spreadsheet. Now, obviously, we can export Excel data or we can export table data as comma separated values and import it into an Excel, and that's pretty straightforward. But what I wanted to do was look at Automation Anywhere and see what I could come up with to automate the creation of an Excel spreadsheet from the inventory of products that are in my database in my table. All right, I had a go at that and it worked out nicely. And what I'd like to do is illustrate to you what I did and maybe from there we can learn a thing or two about Automation Anywhere. So here is my Automation Anywhere script. This is the commands that will be executed by Automation Anywhere to do the task. So let's run it and let's see it work and then we'll go through the commands in detail and see what it actually does. So we run it and uh, it takes a few seconds to start up. It communicates with the database. It uh, retrieves the data from the database. It creates a brand new Excel spreadsheet and it walks through the spreadsheet populating the data in the spreadsheet from my table. And that's it. Now obviously you probably saw that take a few seconds, five seconds, ten seconds, whatever it took there. Certainly much, much faster than I as a human being could have done with copy and paste. But if you're an IT person like I am, you might say to yourself, my goodness, that's slow. Because to do a database query and then to run uh, uh, some kind of API uh, could have been done in milliseconds, not seconds, but milliseconds. However, do remember that what we're doing here is integration on the glass. So it will be slower than native programming, but it will be faster, much faster to create this capability by doing this integration at the glass. So let's go through our script and see what it takes. So the first thing we do is we connect to my database. So we have a, a database connect activity here connect uh, and this is the connection string to my database. Now thankfully I didn't have to do too much work to figure this out. There's a wonderful wizard here where I can go through the wizard and select my database information, put in my database names and then at the end of all of that we have this string generated for us. So this performs a connection to the database. Once we're connected to the database, I now want to start playing around with Excel spreadsheets. So I want to create a new spreadsheet. Now the Automation Anywhere technology doesn't appear to have the ability to create a new Excel spreadsheet. However, what it does have is the ability to associate files with your task. Now, if we have a template file, and that's just an Excel spreadsheet which maybe contains nothing or contains a template of our basic one, then what I can do is I can use the copy files command to copy my template file to my target Excel file that I want to do my work upon. Now we have a blank Excel spreadsheet ready for work. Next command. I open the spreadsheet and I name the file, the spreadsheet file that I previously created and that now causes the spreadsheet to open in Microsoft Excel. Next, I perform a SQL select query using the currently open database connection and I select name and inventory from my products table. 
Okay, simple enough. Now we're about to do a loop, and in this loop, I am iterating over each row in the retrieve data that was retrieved from the SQL select. So this is going to execute once per row. Now, when we retrieve a row from a select statement, the, the values of that row are broken into columns, and they're ordinarily, ordin, ordinarily, ordinarily, that's the word I want to use, they're ordinarily selected, one, two, three, four, five, etc. So column number one, column number two, etc. So the first thing I do is I am going to set the first top left cell of my spreadsheet to be the name column because that was the, the name cell that I retrieved from the latest row and then having set that cell I move my cell one to the right my active cell one to the right so when we're working with Excel spreadsheets in automation anywhere we've got the concept of the active cell and the active cell we can move around relative to it we can go left right up down beginning of a row end of a row so we can navigate relative within our Excel spreadsheet so having moved one cell to the right I now insert the next value which is column 2 in my retrieve data which will be the inventory value and then having inserted two cells into my spreadsheet I now move to the beginning of the row and then down one so now I'm at the cell in the row beneath the one I just inserted and I repeat that over and over again for each of the rows that was retrieved from the database and then we do some nice cleanup, we close the spreadsheet, and we disconnect from the database. Again, to see it run, here we go, we're waiting for it to run. It's going to start up the uh, Automation Anywhere uh, sequence of steps. And uh, basically what is happening is Automation Anywhere is driving our environment here and driving applications like Excel, like Database Query. And at the end of it all, we have a very nice uh, Excel spreadsheet file which contains our data. Now, just to show you that uh, that is in fact really what's happening, let's run it one more time. But first, let's insert ourselves a new row in our data. So I come here and we're going to make this one yellow. Yellow, and we'll give it a weight of 10 and an inventory of 50. Uh, save those changes. We now have a new row in our, da in our data. Um, I close my uh, uh, b -b 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 editor there. We'll run this task one more time. It's now going to run up the Excel spreadsheet. Uh, I'm sorry, the connection to the database, and it's going to run through the Excel spreadsheet. And if all has gone well, we should see one more new row in the data. And there it is. And uh, having run this task, if I now bring up my spreadsheet manually, we will find that there's now a new row in the Excel spreadsheet. So we looked at a couple of things in this example. We looked at database connectivity, we looked at looping, and we looked at Excel manipulation, including the creation of a brand new Excel file. I hope you found something useful in this video. I look forward to more in the future. Thanks now and bye-bye.